The other day I heard a medical student say that if you get coaching with your medical or dental school application, then you don't deserve a place. Now I couldn't think of a bigger load of nonsense and this comment really actually irked me. So today might be the very first time on the channel that I actually have somewhat of an angry rant because this person probably doesn't realize firstly how much privilege and uh, kind of help that they aren't necessarily aware of that they had towards their application. So we're gonna look at where is the line with coaching, whether you should think about it and whether you should get help depending on your individual circumstances. Because firstly, let's see, what does this person mean by coaching? What is necessarily classified and where do we draw the line? Because when you look at the British Olympic team, we actually get a disproportionate number of medals than what we should do compared to our population size. And a big part of that is down to the coaching. So would you discredit the British team for getting the number of medals that they do because they've had good coaching? Well, of course you wouldn't. The goal ultimately is to get the gold and people will do whatever it takes to help them get there. So of course we would never think that that was ridiculous. So how far do you take that example? Is it ridiculous if you're trying to learn a language to get somebody to help you to speed that along? If you're doing A-levels, is it okay to get a tutor? And if you get an A-star thanks to the help from that tutor and your own efforts, does that mean that you don't deserve the A-star? What about if someone is applying to medicine or dentistry and they get a UCAT question bank or they know somebody who can help them out with interviews? Where do you draw the line with what is acceptable and unacceptable help? I think that it's an incredibly elitist thing to be saying that people don't deserve their place at medical or dental school if they had some help. Especially if they did everything by themselves and they didn't cheat, then there is no reason why getting a little bit of assistance to get towards their dream is a bad thing or something to be ashamed of. The irony is that these people who make these sorts of comments usually come from schools where they have an entire medical school team dedicated purely to getting people into medicine or dentistry. And the irony of all of it is that I I've actually seen some of these teams and many of them are not even that good, but that's a separate issue to talk about in another video. Because what we're doing here with the Future.Channel channel and my tutors on the Future.Pro program is helping to level the playing field. Many people who have gone through the program have not only submitted fantastic applications and got their first choice medical school, but then have gone on to become great doctors. And that's because they have been shaped in the right way by going through something like this. People say that help creates a two tiered system, but in my eyes, all it does is create a two tiered system of people who really want it and are willing to do whatever it takes versus those who are just dabbling. The reality is that almost everyone is getting help these days in some form. The competition is so fierce that you need to keep up and often the deciding factor between success and failure is the quality of advice and support that you get. That's why so many senior medical colleagues come to me for help with getting their children into medical school because even they realize, although they've been through it, how much it's changed and how competitive it is these days. And remember that coaching is not the same same as having someone do it for you. On our program particularly, our aim is to elevate our students to be the best that they can be. So they are themselves, it's genuine, it's authentic, but they have been through some training to make sure that they are just the best version of themselves and submitting their best application. There is the concept that Ali Abdel talks about a lot of unfair advantages, that everybody has a certain advantage over somebody else and you should really double down on those advantages to maximize their use and kind of use them in your favor in competitive situations. So an example would be that if you're rich, then maybe you would use as many resources as you can afford to help you. However, on the other side, you could argue that someone who's not so well off might have more drive and therefore they can use that raw determination to get them through. Equally, you can have people who are rich and say because they've not had that drive, they can use that as an excuse for why they've had it too easy and they haven't been willing to put in that effort required and grit and determination to get there. So I don't buy any of these excuses. It really is a case of doing whatever you can to to get the goal that you want to achieve. And I see this every year with people who come to us on the Future Dark program who've had one, two, three failed attempts and they've come to us for help with the fourth and we've managed to get them in with the right guidance. And it just makes me understand that these people, they will go on to make great doctors, they're great candidates, but sometimes it's just about playing the game of the application and the right sort of guidance will help you do that. Ultimately, the result of the application is a binary yes or a no. It really doesn't matter if you miss out by an inch or by a mile. So really don't ever be ashamed with getting help to achieve your dream and do everything within your power to make sure you're building the best possible application to get you there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over in the next video.